The Alliance is a 150-foot boat owned by the Inland Seas Education Association. On a windy Wednesday in August, it serves as the classroom for students at the University of Michigan Biological Station. They're sailing Lake Michigan's Sutton's Bay to study life underwater as part of a course called Michigan Fishes in Changing Environments. When I was looking at taking this course, this was one of the things that was really interesting to me. Considered the capstone of the two-week field extension course, this day on the Great Lake is an eye-opening adventure. They are the invasive species of the Great Lakes. The students experience firsthand five, five. how the round goby has grown dominant in the Great Lakes. It's very different to, to read about something and, 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 and rationalize it than, than to, to be there and see how significant it is. Do you guys have a need a bucket? We do need a bucket. Yeah. So we're using an otter trawl and we're dragging that trawl along the benthic surface, the bottom of the bay, getting the fish out of that trawl and seeing what we caught. Yeah. There's too many. The students netted more than 1,000 invasive round gobies and almost nothing else. 1,047. Wow. Round gobies prey on the eggs of native fish like bass. Other species the students caught, four young smallmouth bass, one rock bass, and three brook stickleback. It's also very interesting to see how the round goby invasion actually plays out in real life. The students also conduct water quality sampling like using a disc to gauge clarity by recording how far below the surface it disappears from view. Plus, they use a microscope to identify plankton gathered from the water column. This day on Lake Michigan is designed to offer a meaningful balance between the beauty and joy of the experience with the fact that we're catching fewer species of fish. It inspires this next generation of scientists and environmental stewards to take the helm and sail into their futures.